Hey guys, this is Claudia here from The Bookkeeping Experts. Today we're going to continue our conversation on the profit and loss and talk about another uh, mistake or error, whatever you want to call it, in the profit and loss, and that is uncategorized income. Okay, so what is uncategorized income, Claudia? We're going to talk about that today. So first of all, when you accept a, an income in your banking, you need to either categorize it, or if you have an invoice, you need to record that invoice. You need to in record the invoice, you need to record the payment. The payment will go into undeposited funds and then record the deposit. So that's the workflow of QuickBooks and then finally match it in banking. That's how it, that's how it works. Now, if you do not invoice your clients from QuickBooks, you can categorize it as income, as sales, or, or whatever you want to service, whatever you want to call. It is possible, so no problem about that. Make sure you write your customer name. Um, but what we're going to talk about today is when the income that we're accepting in bank is not categorized as anything. Basically, it goes as income, but we're not sure what they are. So we're going to take a look at that today and see what that income in my books are and how to fix it. All right, so we're going into the profit and loss. Now, first of all, how to get there on the left-hand side menu, click on reports. Okay, this is my trial account. We're just showing some of the features of the advanced, um, um, advanced QuickBooks Online. So it's kind of cool that uh, you'll be able to see what we can do with that. All right, so we're going to click on Profit and Loss, and we're looking at this year to date. Okay, so we see we're looking at my income, and voila, I have uncategorized income. So in order to open up those transactions, you can actually do it right from the Profit and Loss. You can click on the total uh, under uncategorized income, and all those transactions are going to open up for us. Oh, oh. Okay, let me fix my mouse here. There it is. Okay, there it is. Now, what I'm seeing here is an error because this payment is not supposed to be an income. It's supposed to be money transferring from my checking account into the credit card. So how do I fix it? If I click right over here, now <clears throat> keep in mind that um, I need to find this transaction in both accounts because we're going to record it as a transfer. So I'm going to, I usually keep my notes like a note pack, pa, uh, pad on the back. I'm going to, on the bottom of the page, I'm going to write down here the date of the transaction and the amount of the transaction. Okay. Now, in this case, like I said, this, I know is exactly that this money is coming from the checking account. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and this is not income. And that's important for you to fix it because if you don't, then uh, you're going to have an error. But before we do this, we're going to unmatch the transaction. So basically, I'm, I'm just going to bring it back to be categorized. Okay, and I, I, I'm actually going to just delete this which is possible as well. Because if I unmatch this transaction, it's actually gonna go back, right? And I'll be able to record it the way it's supposed to be recorded. Okay, so this is all the same thing. So I'm gonna do the same over and over again. So I'm just gonna unmatch here. There are other ways for us to do it as well. And I'm gonna show you both ways. Okay, so we, we delete it. Keep in mind that before I deleted this transaction, I made sure that I unmatched it. And by doing so, I'm actually bringing this transaction back in, back from review to for review. And I'm going to show you that. Okay? <clears throat> I just did a few because we're going to work differently for the other one. So we're going to go back to banking here. And this transaction was actually first review. But I changed that, so we're going to go ahead and click on credit card. And there are some of the transactions right over here. What we're going to do here, we're going to 
categorize it as transfer because this is money coming from this account into this account, right? So that's not income. I'm gonna go ahead and click on record as a transfer and I'm just gonna put it under checking. Okay, there's another way for you to do it as well as record as a credit card payment. But like I said, I prefer to work it as a transfer. It works best like that. Okay, so we're gonna category, oh, I'm sorry, record as a transfer, checking, add, and you can do it multiple as well, but I'm just doing one at a time so you can see it. <clears throat> okay. All right, so I added in here, and I told QuickBooks that this is, this is a transfer from this account to this. And now I'm going to look into this account over here. And it's going to tell me that this is recorded as a transfer. So we're just going to match it by matching it. And that's what I want to do it always, always. When, when we have a transfer from one account to another, you're going to record the transfer on one account and the other one, you need to match it. Because if you don't, you are duplicating the transaction. It's very important. Okay, that's the other one, and I had another one, so this is how you fix it. So you're going to record the, the date of the transactions, the amount, and you're going to unmatch it, delete it there, and then you're going to go back, record it as a transfer by doing so, and then go on the account that the money was paid with, and then match that transfer okay so that's how you fix it uh, that particular uh, error in the profit and loss so if you want to go back here we see that we have less see so we corrected some of them now let's suppose that this is actually not a transfer Keep in mind, this is just a sample account, so it's really, you know, I'm just showing you um, the different ways that you can record different things. So in that first situation, we were just recording a transfer that was recorded as an income, and it was not an income. It's supposed to be a transfer. It means money being taken from one bucket to another, and it should not generate income to you. Because this is not, this is just money from one account to another. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna change this as income. So let's suppose that this is not any, you know, that this is just income. So one way, like I said, for us to fix it, okay, I'm I'm just gonna unmatch this. By unmatching, like I said, I'm going to bring it back. Like I said, I always like to write the tr transaction date and the amount. So I have um, August 23rd, and that's for $50. All right. We're going to unmatch it, and I'm going to delete it. So there's a process, like I said. If you're going to do that, you need to first unmatch it because that's going to bring it back to for review and then you go ahead and delete the transaction because basically I have the transaction back in banking for for review so that I can rec uh, or uh, categorize it whatever way it's supposed to be. So we're going to go and click on the credit card and there's all kinds of match as far as payment goes or transfer goes. And, but that's not what we are guessing here, okay? So we're just, we're just supposing that this is actually income. So how do I record an income transaction? Um, the best way, like I said, if you do invoice, you have to record the payment on the invoice. You have to send it to undeposited funds. And then you have to record the deposit over here. But this is, you know, if... This is a, a different situation where there's no invoice in the system and this income is just coming to you 
without any fees or anything. So this is just income. So how do I record an income transaction? So this is different because this is actually a credit card, so it shouldn't be here. So we're just supposing how to, let's suppose that this is a checking account and this is money coming into the account and it's coming in from a client and there's no invoice in there. How do I categorize that? So we're going to click on categorize and we're going to select whatever customer. Like I said, I always have my best customer here paying, my, paying their bills right on time. Right? <laughs> Love that. Okay, and we're going to just go ahead and um, categorize the sales. And we're going to add that. Okay, so and like I said, we're just supposing that this is just a sample account. So <clears throat> in this case... This is a simple credit card. It's not a real credit card. Uh, but we're, we're treating that tra specific transaction as an income. Okay? All right. So um, by doing that, I actually record it as an income instead, uh, instead of uncategorized income. Um, so this is one of the errors. This is how you fix one of the errors in the profit and loss. I hope that I was able to answer some of your questions. If you have any further questions in regards to uncategorized income, please write down on the notes below. I'll be able to address that with you. Uh, there's different situations. Obviously, there's many different situations that can create that uncategorized income, but the bottom line is that those are transactions that have not been categorized correctly so and maybe those transactions are not supposed to be income maybe they're supposed to be owner's investment so it should not be on the profit and loss as income so you do need to go into those transactions and fix it to what whatever is supposed to be if it is a transfer like i said you need to make sure that it is it is recorded correctly as a transfer so that is not going to generate a tax liability for you because this is not income. Like I said, it's just money coming from one account to another, just tra being transferred from one bucket to another. All right, so I hope this was useful. Uh, please like this video. If you like what we are sharing with you, like this video so that we can continue bringing to you uh, the updates on QuickBooks Online. Uh, and you're going to be the first one to see them, to see the most updated information in QuickBooks Online. Also, write down if you have a particular question that you want us to answer. Just go ahead and write down below, and we'll be able to address that and, uh, and maybe even cover on a future video. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful time. And until next time, keep smiling.